What's good, Josh? Boy Ross back at again with another video. So I wanted to talk about Dave Meltzer's recent uh, match ratings for WrestleMania 40, Night One and Night Two. Um, it's caused a lot of discourse on Twitter, and I wanted to kind of give my opinions on do I agree with his five star uh match rating system on this particular show now granted i never really just go by his rating on matches only because i really don't go by anybody's rating on matches because you know it's subjective is how you feel about it but at the same time i do be seeing like the matches that he give five stars to and call them instant classics they're definitely more on the AEW side. And not to say that they aren't great matches, but at the same time, it is one of those things where you can kind of tell this there's, there's a lot more bias than what it what it probably should be. But at the end of the day, that's his rating system. So who am I to tell him what's a five-star match and what company? That's up to him, you know, to decide that. But I wanted to talk about it because it's definitely a trending topic right now. And, it, you know, it's caused some discourse for sure on social media, especially on Twitter. So we're going to go through it and I'm going to see if I agree with what Dave Meltzer gave for his ratings. Uh, I believe he does a on a scale of one through five stars. So let's see. For night one, Dave Meltzer, WrestleMania star rating, night one. Rhea Ripley versus Becky, uh, 4.25 stars. Um, That was actually a good match. That was a very good match, very good opener. Um, I usually do on a scale of one to ten, but for this particular video, um, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. That was fun. I'm I'm okay with that. Giving them four stars there. I'm okay with that. That that that's serviceable. Um, the ladder match, uh, same rating, four point two five stars. Ladder match definitely picked up towards the end, so I'm okay with that. That's not a bad one. Ray and Andrade versus Dom and Santos. Um, he gave it three three point seven five stars. The decimal stuff is kind of throwing me off. I've just either three or four stars would have probably been better how I would rate it. Um, but honestly, it's definitely a three star match. It's 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 definitely a three star match. It's 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 kind of middle of the road. It's not something that I think people are gonna just go off and remember and talk about. But it was okay. It was definitely oh it was an okay match i still think this match shouldn't have probably been on the pay-per-view but it was okay jay versus jimmy he gave it zero stars 0 0.75 stars damn now i don't know if i'm gonna give it zero bro i don't know if i'm gonna just say it it was a zero star match but it was the worst match of wrestlemania weekend and it should have been one of the better matches uh i feel like they didn't really do much the story there, the the story was there, but they didn't really build upon it. The promo package was better than the match for sure. I would probably, going off of his uh, rating system, I probably would have gave that. I probably would have gave that like a one, maybe maybe a two, only because you know the story there's still it's a brother versus brother story, and there still was some intrigue there. Maybe a two, one and a half stars. I probably would have gave it one and a half stars, honestly. Zero? I don't know about that. Uh, I don't think it's like zero to me. It's like it's just the worst of worst. I don't think it was the worst of worst. I think the expectations didn't live up and they didn't really build upon it. So I would give it at least one and a half stars. Jay, Bianca, Naomi versus Damage Control, two stars. I personally probably would have gave that three. I would have gave that three stars. Um... Was this a match that needed to be on there? I wouldn't say needed, but it was well welcomed. Um, Jade's first WrestleMania match. It was fun. It was cool. Just seeing the crowd want to see Jade out there. It was fun. It was it was it was okay. I would probably have given that at least it's it's up there with Ray and Andrade versus Dom and Santos, in my opinion. So I probably would have gave it that three stars. Sammy versus Gunther, four and a half stars. Um I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit was so fucking good. That shit was good. Me personally, I love the story in that match. I think I give higher ratings to better storytelling. The story in that match was so 
damn good. The wrestling was really good too. Me personally, I they they knocked it out the park, bro. I get out of five, bro. That was that was at least at least four and a half. It's, that's a good rating, but I I honestly that's a classic match, bro. That's a very classic match. I, I can give that easily a five, bro. That was a five star match. Um, Guta usually have great five star matches, so many, but this one was so damn good, bro. Four and a half, I can agree with. Five, I probably would have went with. And Bloodline versus Cody and Seth, I honestly, that was the match of the night. If it wasn't for Sammy and Gunther being right there too, I think that was match of the night. I'm giving that five. That shit was fun. That shit was fun. That was a fun-ass match to build up for night two. I'm giving that a five. So, for the most part, outside of the Jay and Jimmy, everything else was kind of, I can somewhat agree with. Um, the Jay, I probably would have went up a star. Jay and Jimmy, at least, at least a star. Everything else I kind of could have agreed with. So I didn't really have too much problem with this one. So night one, that's okay. See what he says for night two. Um, Seth versus Drew, three and a half stars. I'm going to give that a four, bro. I'm giving that four stars. At least four. Because of the high impact, the intensity. They started off WrestleMania so great. And it had a great moment in Damian Priest cashing in. At the start of the show with the whole CM Punk stuff. It made more memorable moments. I'm going to give that a four. That was a fun, fun match. Great moments. I'm going to give that a four. Uh, the Pride versus Final Testament. Damn. One in 1.7 uh, stars. Mm. I'd give that a two. I'd give that two stars. That was. I enjoyed that. The right people won. It was fun. It wasn't. Did it need to be on the show? Most likely not. But it was something that's like, you know what? Can't, you know, you can't get too mad at it. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a that's a decent, that's a it's an okay. I'll give it at least two stars. It 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 served its purpose. It's there to entertain the crowd, really. You know, it served its purchase purpose. LA versus AJ, three and a half stars. That was a fun match. I'm okay with that rating. I'm 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 definitely okay with that rating. Some people would probably give it four. I, I, I'm okay with that. That was it wasn't it wasn't bad actually. It was it was really good. In ring wrestling was good. I'd probably give that a, at least closer to the fours if I had to choose. Because it was a fun match. It was a good match. I wouldn't say uh it's like super memorable, but it, had, it was still good though. It's one of those matches where I don't even have a problem with it being on a card. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the worst, but it still was worth being on the card. It was one of those like middle of the road, mid card matches that you can enjoy because the feud had been pretty good. So I give this three, maybe four, you know, around that 3.5 is not bad. Uh, Logan versus Randy, uh, Logan versus Randy versus KO four and a half. This was a really good match Four stars. He kind of spot on with that one. Uh, that one's definitely almost a five. That was a really good match. Bailey versus EO, four and a half stars, close to a five. That was a really good match, too. I couldn't get mad. I could not get mad if you want to give it, if you gave it four stars there, close to a five. And Roman versus Cody, 4.75. This is where I disagree with him. It's a five star classic. Five star classic. Simple. Five star classic. Some may disagree, but I don't give a damn. That was a five-star classic. That is a match that people will remember for a very long time. The story in that match was fantastic. The wrestling was good, too. You know, there was some good wrestling, great selling, great emotion. But people were there for the story. The story had been playing out for so long, almost more than a year since Cody came back. And the fact that you're going against this unstoppable force in Roman Reigns with the help of his cousin, The Rock, this is great. I, I'm I'm a person of the in ring wrestling can be great, but if there's no story there, I, it's, how am I going to care about the people that's fighting each other? There has to be some story there to sink my teeth into why this person should win, why this person should lose. This was great, five star classic. I get goosebumps every time I've gone back and just watch 
watch that match or just watch when Cody won that pop when Cody kept kicking out of stuff he shouldn't be kicking out of or you know you thought it was over the great spots the great moments it's classic that is a five star classic that is a match that kids that are watching WrestleMania now growing up they're going to think of this is their WrestleMania 17 this is their Stone Cold versus The Rock WrestleMania moment this is their moment this is our moment too I don't know what to say other than that's a five-star classic. That's where I disagree with him on. He didn't give no five stars this WrestleMania season, and that's fine. You know, once again, that's his rating. You know, I know he tends to give a lot more of the five-star ratings to AEW. That's what he wants to do. Who am I to tell him not to? But me personally, I think Roman versus Cody, easily five-star classic. But comment down below. Let me know y'all ratings for uh, WrestleMania night one and two uh, for each respective match on a scale of one through five. You know, um, five being the best, one being the worst. Let me know which matches you feel like was the best and which matches you feel like was the worst. What ratings you give them. And were there any five-star matches to y'all on this particular WrestleMania? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love support. Road to 150K. And I'm still going to be the YouTube Wrestling Champion of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.